Well, of course, as you know, our prize is underway in Grand Rapids. And of course, we hope you had a chance to check out some of the pieces displayed all across the city over the weekend. And if you haven't, there is still plenty of time. And if you're a comic book fan, there's an entry at the Ford Presidential Museum that you won't want to miss. Yeah, it's amazing. It's actually comics that are cut up and then recreated of an iconic cover. I had a chance to meet the artist. Check it out. So you did this during the pandemic. I did. I started at the very beginning of the pandemic as a way to just pass the time since everybody was uh, stuck in houses. Explain what you did. So I am an artist that takes old vintage comic books, cuts them up into smaller pieces and reimagines them into large scale works of art. So at the beginning of the pandemic, trying to find something that I wanted to do um, to occupy my time, I came across the comics that I had in my collection, which was a four issue miniseries from 1991 called War of the Gods. And I had them as a kid. And I said, you know what, how about I take those four images, those four comics, and I cut them up and I make the issue number one. And in some, doing some research about them, I realized it was actually part of a larger 25-issue story arc. So then I said, well, then how many of those comics do I already own? I owned about a third of them, almost half. And I said, well, I'll just go out and I'll purchase the rest of them online. And then so now I took all 25 comics and said, I'll make issue number one. And I said, with 25 comics, how big can I go? And naturally, a four foot by seven by six foot um, dimension fits the cover of a comic book perfectly. So I said, well, then I guess I have my dimension. Wow. And not all, so you didn't use any paint, you didn't use anything else. This is purely the comics. Michelle, that's correct. There's no paint, there's all just glue. Even my signature in the corner is cut out of black comic. So the black that's in here is, is comic, the red is comic, and trying to keep all of the particular comics that represent that particular character in that story arc are kept with that character when possible. For example, their faces. Yes, their faces. The muscles of Superman are from that comic. The areas of blue that are here are from the Batman comic, from his cape and cowl and, and so forth. All of Wonder Woman's faces, all the ones in her leg are, are trying to maintain the integrity of that person because the comic for me is, um, is a wonderful piece of artwork in itself. I'm an artist by trade, so I marvel at how somebody can draw even just one panel. Because I look at that and I said, oh, I could draw that. But it would take me a couple hours to draw that one panel on the one page, in the one story, in the one comic, in the one year-long piece. It's just marveling the amount of talent that someone has to actually create a comic book. And George Perez, who was the original um, person who created this comic line, is someone that, as, gro as someone growing up, I really admired. Um, and he did just pass away just recently, but um, he was someone who really had a lot of influence on me. So to do, to do this during the pandemic for me was, was, very, um, was very therapeutic for sure. Sure. Well, I think a lot of people will marvel at what you did. It, it, it's quite spectacular. Thank you. Thank you very much, and, Michelle. And welcome to Art Prize. I know. This is my first one. Good. First one. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. Um, my first time here at the Presidential Museum. Um, so to, to come and hang the piece. And so I'm really looking forward to just being a part of this whole scene and um, just being immersed in um, all of the artwork because I think it's a wonderful thing. I wish more cities uh, around the country did it. And um, because art and culture, music, is um, something that everybody clamors for because it's the one thing that we didn't have during the pandemic was all of the uh, ways for people to get out and express themselves. So it's good. Good. Well, we're glad you're here. Thank you very much.